Hello, welcome to this video that demonstrates how to add themes to Next.js Material UI projects. This video will show how to set up MUI Light and Dark themes that comes out of the box from MUI Create Theme. What you are currently seeing on screen is an example of the theme switching from light to dark theme. In this case, we are clicking on a button that triggers the toggle theme functionality, which is encapsulated within the underscore app file. Firstly, ensure the MUI packages are installed in an import theme provider and create theme as named imports from MUI slash material slash styles. Then create the two themes within the underscore app file using create theme from MUI ensuring to set the modes for each theme to light and dark. Then wrap the component element within the theme provider that was exported. For now just hard code the theme to either light or dark and we'll come back to it. Let's quickly display a button and pass through a function we can use to switch the themes once clicked. This may differ for you but in this case I've imported a button from MUI and supplied an on-click function to it named toggle theme. This is imported from the props file of the page. This is the element that will be responsible for listening to requests to change the current theme on the client side. Within the underscore app file, we need to set up the logic to switch between the two themes. Firstly, we'll need to make use of the use state to keep track of the active theme and selected theme. The active theme's default value should be light theme, and selected theme's default should be light. Create a named function called toggle theme that checks the value of the selected theme and swaps the value so that when it is light it becomes dark and vice versa. This is the logic that will switch between our currently available themes. Use the value of the check with the set selected theme function to ensure the new value is kept within this state. Next we will look to make sure the theme is updated when the switch theme function is called. Let's start with creating a function we will name get active theme. That's purpose will be to return a theme based on the supplied value passed through the parameter. Currently, we will check the value passed through is light, and if it is, light theme will be returned. Otherwise, if it is anything else, then dark theme will be returned. In the future, this is one of the areas we will update to support themes over the light and dark theme. Now, update the theme provider theme prop to take the active theme rather than the hard-coded light theme that we did earlier. If you update that and you now click the toggle theme within the view, it should now switch the theme from light to dark and vice versa. Congratulations, your Material UI Next.js site now should support multiple themes. What you see now on screen is just some examples of, of that where we've uh, used the switch toggle button to switch the themes within Material UI. If you are unsure what the variable names are within MUI, I will link you to the page on the screen within the description so you can see the default hex colors for the light and dark themes. Be sure to use those theme colors within the components within MUI to reap the benefits of having multiple themes. Additionally, if you create custom variables, ensure you create one for both of your themes. Expect to see a video in the future about persisting the visitor's desired theme and even making use of the visitor's preferred theme mode. Browsers inject media queries that tell the site the customer's desired theme type, light or dark. Hopefully this has helped, feel free to comment, like and subscribe, it's a great way to support content creators.